My name is Alfonso Fernandez. I am a PhD student here in Ohio State in the Department of Geography and here in Bear Polar Research Center. Basically, uh, in Bear Polar Research, I am a graduate research associate in the Glacier Environmental Change Group, which is uh, the group in which uh, Brian Mark, my advisor, is the leader. We are interested mostly in, in, uh, in uh, tropical and subtropical glacier changes and how those changes influence uh, water availability, water quality. The name of the, the, the group it stands for is the, the idea of glaciers influence, influencing and getting influenced by the people uh, or society in general. My thesis uh, of, uh, for undergrad was about glacier changes in, in Chile. So the last um, eight, nine years, I've been pretty much interested in going forward in, in glaciers. My motivation to come here was to work with somebody and to learn from somebody who can have this um, more holistic view of what glaciers uh, are and, and how glaciers influence people. We have very quantitative uh, approaches like using GPS, um, um, spatial explicit um, modeling, um, atmospheric analysis, um, GIS applications, together with um, um, analysis of um, people and what they do, how they respond to, to uh, changes in water availability from glaciers. It's uh, mostly modeling approaches to understand mass balance um, in the last few years and the last decades and also uh, if we I'm trying to go forward or uh, backward basically in time. In simple terms, mass, uh, glacier mass balance is uh, the difference in between the uh, snow, ice input into the glacier versus the release of water of, or ice or even debris um, by the glacier in a center, certain uh, period of time. To model uh, with different, um, in different levels uh, the way in which uh, South American glaciers are responding uh, and have responded uh, to the to climatic, climatic, climatic changes. Down scaling uh, procedure from a, a, a global uh, um, general circulation model to get a specific climatologies for the last uh, few years in some specific, a very, a very populated places in, uh, in uh, on South America. Let's say, for example, Cordillera Blanca in Peru, uh, uh, places closer to Cordillera Real in, in Bolivia, and Central Andes of Chile and Argentina. Trying to compare um, modeling approaches of different complexity to the South American realities. By different complexity, I mean um, we use uh, there are models with, uh, which are basically um, empirically based in which you use, we use temperature and precipitation and to um, calculate or to understand mass balance um, and, and there are other more there are others which are more um, physically based which we use more fluxes of uh, atmospheric uh, variables let's say uh, global radiation, uh, latent heat, uh, calculations. As far as I know, nobody has tried to understand or, or put in context what's happening with whole glaciers in South America, um, comparing them and knowing the difference in climate. So I hope that this analysis may be useful for um, uh, policymakers to get an idea of how well or how bad the glaciers they have are. And also 
they have not been a comparison of, of specific places in which glaciers are important for, for, um, for water resources. And uh, as I say a couple minutes ago, Cordillera Blanca, Cordillera Real, some places in Central Andes of Chile and Argentina, there are many places in which some activities, economic activities or uh, actually drinking water are related to how glaciers are going to behave in the future. It could be very important not only for policymakers in that, in that uh, it's also for people living there knowing uh, what is going on with the resources they are using. Apart from awesome people I have met here, um, I, I will always be proud of being part of uh, very awesome discussions about this topic. I think this is the only way, the only time in life I'm going to be able to discuss all aspects of this topic which I, I really like. Um, not only the physical aspect of glacier changes, the political aspects with people who know uh, about this. Uh, with, let's say for example, discussing about uh, political implications of, of the sea ice in, in the Arctic, uh, which you may say, well, but that's not important for somebody which is from the Southern Hemisphere. But it's basically, yeah, that's important because you see a very good example of of a changing environment influencing people's life, and that's discussions here. This discussing about all of these variables involved, this really uh, cutting edge um, mix of ideas is something that really keep in my mind. And I will try to replicate it wherever I go.